According to Vitana.org, African American drivers are twice as likely to be pulled over during a routine traffic stop than any other race. You are now about to hear a person by the name of Isaac, who is a 28-year-old African-American male, explain his views on routine traffic stops with police officers. Traffic stops. How do you feel being an African-American male getting pulled over? I have registration. Like, I don't like the idea of a police officer being behind me, um, regardless of color. Um, like I said, it just makes me feel extremely nervous. Um, you know, I do get a little paranoid, you know, like, why are they following behind me so long? Like, you know, it it definitely, you know, kind of, you know, can cause you to be really, really nervous sometimes. What exactly makes you nervous? I mean, honestly, <clears throat> I'd say all of the above. Um, a lot of different things, you know, go through my head. You know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking to myself, you know, are they running my license late? Are they, you know what I mean? Like, it, it definitely, like I said, you know, before, you know, it makes you really nervous, you know, um, I used to have a lot of faith, um, you know, when it came to, you know, police officers and, you know, the justice system and things like that, you know, but, you know, with everything that's happened, you know, over the last, you know, decade or so, it's like, you know, yeah, as a young black male, you know, yeah, it definitely makes, you know, me, you know, edgy, you know, a little nervous, you know, I know that there, you know, are obviously, you know, there are good police officers out there, you know what I mean, who, you know, truly believe in, you know, and what they signed up for, you know, which is to serve and protect, you know, but then you have a lot of others, you know, who, you know, don't necessarily, you know, follow that same creed and, you know, you know, have other intentions or other things in mind, you know. So, yeah, it, you know, it, 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 you know, regardless of the officer's color, you know what I mean, they're still, you know, somebody in blue. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, when it comes to being an African-American male, anytime you encounter somebody in blue, you know, things usually go left. Now, I know... A good example of that would be, uh, there was one time where I had just gotten off work. Um, I was planning on going to the movies with my brother. Um, I you know, dash home real quick. Um, my car, I'd actually parked my car facing the opposite direction um, that it should normally be facing. Um, now, my neighborhood, we do that all the time. It's like, you know, a normal thing. You know, you pull your car up, you know, you put, you know, emergency brakes on um, or emergency blinkers on, I should say. Sorry, excuse me. Um, and then, you know, you get out, go do whatever it is you need to do. So the day that I did this, um, there was a cop that had actually pulled up on my street. I had, like, kind of, like, waved my hand a little bit to signal, you know, if I was okay. And he just kind of like looked up like, you know, like, like it was fine. And I said, okay, cool. So I, I go in the house and my brother comes outside, gets in the car. I come back out. The guy's writing me a ticket. I said, hey, I said, you know, I, you know, I thought it was okay. He said, no, your car is facing the opposite direction of the street. I said, well, sir, I understand that. I said, you know, but, you know, we, you know, I've lived here for a long time. I said, you know, this is something that we do, you know, all the time. I said, you know, neighbors included. I said, I've never seen anybody get a ticket for something like this before. So he looks at me and he tells me, well, you know, it's a law, so you know I'm, you know I'm gonna be issuing you a, you know, citation for that, and I'm just like, wait, what, really? You know, then my mom comes outside. My mom's like, you know, please, sir, don't give my son a ticket, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, the officer, you know, he doesn't even acknowledge my mother. You know, he just basically completely ignores her. It doesn't acknowledge her or say anything at all, which you know really upset me. Uh, you know, on top of me already being upset, you know, getting a ticket that I felt like I didn't deserve. So, you know, you know I. I got upset, you know, I, you know, I said a cuss word, you know, I was obviously, you know, like I said, very upset, um, you know, and before I could even blink, you know, I realized that, you know, this officer had called backup, and the backup just so happened to be another black officer, uh, the other, the other officer actually never approached me or spoke with me or said hi, boo, nothing, he never said anything, um, so I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute, like, this guy really called backup because I got upset, over a ticket, I feel like I don't deserve. Not only is, is that going on, but you completely disregard my mother, who who basically was talking to you, and I know you heard her. So you know, it definitely made me very upset. It made me even nervous, you know, for a second. You know, like like why like why does he feel the need to call backup? Like is it because I'm a you know a big tall you know African American guy? Like does that frighten you? Does that somehow make you nervous? Like am I you know when you look at me, do you immediately you know sense aggression? Like what like what is it? Like it just it really made me uncomfortable. It made me really upset. And like I said, you know, myself, my neighbors, you know, all of us included, you know, we would park our cars like that all the time. It was never an issue. Like, but this one particular day, an officer, you know, decides to come over, you know, and go ahead and issue me a ticket. And I do think, you know, that race, you know, played, you know, a small part in it, you know, just because, you know, he saw me when I was getting out of my car. He saw me when I was coming back to my car. So he clearly saw who was in the car you know, and, and, you know, who was, you know, driving it and whose vehicle it was, you know, and, 
you know, like I said, he didn't try to work with me. He didn't try to have a conversation with me. It was just, you know, your parts were on a mission, you need a ticket, et cetera, et cetera. Personally, I just feel like, you know, some officers, they forget, you know, why, you know, they chose to, you know, get into, you know, that line of work. I think they forget, you know, you know, what their initial duty is, you know, their job, you know, is to protect and serve. You know what I mean? And these are, you know, the same cops, you know, who took this oath are the same cops that are, you know, beating on African-American men. These are the same cops, you know, who are shooting African-American men. You know, these are the same cops, you know, doing all these other things. But you, you know, uphold, you know, you're supposed to uphold the law. You took an oath. You know, I feel like, you know, if cops could, you know, kind of, you know, step, take a step back and really look at certain situations and, you know, really try to put them, you know, put themselves, you know, in the other person's, you know, shoes. I think, you know, it would do a lot, you know, for relations, you know, with police officers and, you know, you know, not just, you know, African-Americans, but just people in general, You know, I feel like, you know, they've kind of, you know, sometimes they lose that, like that human side of them, you know, like, I feel like if they made more of an effort, you know, to let people know that, you know, hey, we're not a threat, you know, we're here, you know, just to do our job, we're here to, you know, to keep everyone safe, you know, I think if they, basically what I'm saying is, is relations between, you know, police officers and the community, you know, need to be better. I feel like if they were better, I feel like if, if, you know, if we could really open up and bridge that gap, you know, of communication, you know, that things, you know, would be a lot better, you know, for everyone as a whole, you know, whether it be just a community or, you know, African-Americans or, you know, you know, any other race for that matter or minority for that matter, you know, and just cops in general. Now you're about to hear a 20 year old Caucasian male who grew up in suburbia who have never witnessed being pulled over during a routine traffic stop due to the color of his skin. So I'm here with Nick. How old are you, Nick? I am 26. 26, and where are you from? I am originally from Chino Hills, California, but now I live in Long Beach. Long Beach, and would you consider Chino Hills a suburban area? Yes. Okay, were there any people of of color as far as the minorities are concerned in your neighborhood? There were, but majority were whites and middle class families that I lived with, but majority whites. Now tell me, do you know anything as far as in minorities being pulled over by cops and what's been taking place? Statistically, no, but by the media and the discussions that we have in class, I'm aware. Now, have you ever been pulled over due to the color of your skin? Not to my knowledge. Not to your knowledge. Now, when you are, when a police is driving behind you, how do you feel? I get nervous. I get nervous because... I don't want to get pulled over. Um, yeah, I, I, if I see a cop behind me, I feel my heart rate go up and I get a little nervous. Now, are you nervous because you don't want to get in trouble or are you nervous because they might pull you over because of what your race is? I'm nervous because I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Okay, now, what are your uh, thoughts on, I I interviewed someone by the name of Isaac, and he stated the same thing that you said, but the only difference is he said that not only is he nervous about getting pulled over um, and getting in trouble, but he's also nervous about the color of his skin because he's African-American. What are your thoughts on that? I think that he has every right to be because racial profiling still exists, even if we try to deny it or not view race as an issue but it still exists okay um now last question what do you think um that the cops can actually do um as far as in changes is concerned maybe protocol that would help as far as in the communication between civilian and police officer are you saying how can there be a little bit more dialogue with a community like correct um, I think that showing up to community events and speaking to 
um, African Americans or just minorities in general will help bring the issue, like, will kind of neutralize it, but I honestly don't think <clears throat> there's not much that you can do. And why do you feel that way, that there's not much that you can do? Because I feel like cops are in, engraved in their head that black people commit more crimes and they're going to profile them no matter what. So is that why you think that African Americans are being pulled over more so um, than other races during routine traffic stops? Mm, I think that because they are the minority and they are low income and their social socioeconomic status, um, that the cops are more likely to find something on them rather than someone else. Okay, that's understandable. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here with a, a police officer, and after listening to both people's interviews, I wanted to get his intake on the issue that's going on with racial profiling when doing routine traffic stops. My take on it, personally, is every traffic stop is is a different situation involving different people. So I can't speak on other officers or deputies or law enforcement officials subjective reasoning um but i will say in my experience that you know every organization has its dare i say bad apples like like anywhere we're all human and we all make mistakes but i think the vast majority of police officers are going out every day trying to just do the job to the best of their ability and go home at the end of their shift to their family or their kids or whoever it might be. Um, I know that, you know, when someone gets pulled over by the police, obviously they're going to be upset. You know, I've been pulled over. I wasn't born a cop. Um, and as long as both sides, the officer and, you know, the person being stopped can just, you know, show the other party mutual respect then it'll go smoothly as far as you know racial profiling goes I haven't seen it does it happen I'm sure um, I think there's a, a difference between you know racial profiling and criminal profiling and that's probably a whole other topic um, but I mean, it's hard to say what's going through another person's mind. Now, you know, do you think while. now do you think there's a lack of communication between officer and civilian? I do, um, but I also think that you know what you see on TV is just a very very small sample size. I mean, there's literally thousands, if not you know, millions of interactions between law enforcement and the general public on a daily basis and you know in my experience it's generally very positive you know there's you know it's it's only the ones that go sideways that you you see because that's nobody's going to put on the you know front page you know you know a cop helps old lady put groceries in her trunk or something like that you know that's not compelling a compelling story really so you don't think yeah. that there needs to be a change that's made? Well, what would that change be? I mean, what do you, is there a solution? To, I mean. Well, whether it's a solution, do you, so you don't think that there's a problem when it comes to routine traffic stops and racial profiling? I mean, it's, that's a very broad question. I mean, does it happen? I'm sure, like I said earlier, I'm sure, I'm sure it does. But generally speaking, I mean, a traffic, if, there's a, if there's a traffic violation, then that officer has a right to conduct the traffic stop. Okay, you know? well, thank you. All right.